Many people have known Rent the Runway for the last couple of years. They've got a special occasion. They want to rent one dress. Great idea because you only wear a special occasion dress a few times anyway. But now this plan, 99 bucks for an unlimited amount of dresses. It's like Amazon Prime. I mean, it's extraordinary. Well, 50% of a woman's closet is comprised of things that are worn three times or less. And we're not just talking about dresses. There are tops that you wear out for dates and things that you wear to work or you gain weight or you lose weight. So the idea is that why don't we buy our jeans and buy our white button-down blouses, but have a subscription to fashion where we could have the rest of our closet on constant rotation. So our subscription is not just dresses, it's tops, it's skirts, it's pants, it's jackets, it's whatever you need. I love it, the idea of it as a consumer, but how does it work for you? I mean, 99 bucks, you can't even buy one work dress for that. Well, we run all of the logistics behind our business. So we're able to make a nice margin on turning inventory and having that inventory look brand new. We understand the IP behind inventory, so how to actually preserve it so that many women can wear it and it could look amazing over time. You guys have recently raised, or in total you've raised 116 million bucks. Yeah. So, so impressive. But what are you gonna do with all that money? That's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of Move pressure. Into suits. <laughs> Move into men's suits. Well, I believe that within the next five years, every woman in this country is going to have a subscription to fashion. And that she is going to use Hang this. Hang on a second. That's a bit of a crazy. Every woman in this country is going to have a subscription to fashion in I, five years' time? That is what I am aiming for. Why with do you think that? I'm, I'm, I'm willing, to, I'm willing to make a wager for a nominal sum of money that that doesn't come true. Well, if you look at the proliferation over the past five years of, of music and Spotify, just five years ago, people were buying songs on iTunes. People were still buying CDs. Now, if you saw anyone buying music, you would think they were insane. But there Why are, would you do that as opposed to have access to every song that you wanted under the planet? But there are way more people who listen to music in their car all day long. My mom isn't buying new blouses, skirts, so, and pants. Actually, not true. The average American woman buys 64 new articles of clothing per year, regardless of her income or her age. Clothing and food and transportation are the only three things we have to do every single day. We don't live in a nudist society, so we need Not to yet. put clothes on our body. Except a lot of those clothes are like a tank top from Aeropostale, right? That, that's totally fine. Now, but instead is that of a buying, rent the one way item? Now, why, does, why over the last 10 to 15 years, the only part of the fashion industry that has grown has been fast fashion? True. H&M, Zara, etc. Fast fashion is a rental. You walk into H&M, you this buy a, a top for nineteen ninety nine, and you know I can wear it two or three times, then it'll get destroyed in the washing machine, I'm fine. What if for that same price, I could give you something that's higher quality, you could still wear it two or three times, and then it's gone. And you actually don't have to have the junk in your closet that you later have to throw out, donate, put in storage. One in every six families in the U.S. has a storage facility that's filled with clothes. And that's regardless of no, their I income. Mean, that I is an awesome I, point. When I, you think about how hey, many... Hey, hey, hey. I'm, 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 not, I'm not lined up against you on this one. I do think that that's an amazing point. The one point I would make in addition to that, however, is that I'm not much of a fast fashion connoisseur myself. However, my girls are, my wife is, and what they love about shopping at a place like Zara or a place like H&M is the opportunity not just to find something you're going to wear once, twice, three times and then maybe ditch or give away to somebody else, hopefully not throw in a dumpster, is that some of those things actually turn out to be memorable items. You're like, you know what, I bought it for 20 bucks and I love it and exactly. I'm going to wear it many times. But that, that is you can't really do with your product, is oh, it? No, that's exactly what you do with our product. The brilliance of Zara is that it's about the emotion of wearing something new. That is what Rent the Runway does. Every single time you put on a new top from the subscription or a new pair of earrings or a new dress, it's the first time you're wearing it. You're going to build a memory. You feel more confident. You feel it's beautiful. It's a dopamine. You're in it to win it when you put on a new There's dress. There's this emotional depreciation that happens after you wear something for the first time. Wearing something for the 10th time, you never get that same high as when you wear it for the first time and you rip the tag. Is, is there a men's market for Rent the Runway? I think that there is a men's market for renting clothing. It's never going to be as big because women, there is this um, 
joy and the self-confidence that comes from clothing. And the pressure. I would and feel pressure. joy if my husband wanted new clothes. Sadly, <laughs> he doesn't. Wait, before we go, I know we have to leave. What's your biggest expense? Our biggest expense right now is inventory, people, and obviously the cost of our logistics. Well, congratulations. Great idea, great Thank business. You. I went there on Tuesday. Let me tell you, it was a packed house in the showroom. In wall our stores, 18th Street between 5th and 6th. There you Check go. It That's out. what it was. Pat.